Hi, welcome to this video tutorial. So in this lecture, I'm going to show you how to implement the action event in your combo box. So in the previous lecture, we were able to add a combo box in our fxml file. But it's not really doing anything for us. So let's try to uh, implement so that it would react to our every item selection. So let's go ahead and add our new element which is the uh, label. Okay. So what we want to do is every selection or every element selection that we are doing in our uh, combo box it should be reflected or the item should be reflected in this particular label. So let's set the properties of our label first. For the color, let's set it to red. And the font, perhaps 18. And so I think it's good enough for now. Next, we need to set the ID or FX ID for our label. So click on the label um, component and go to code. For our FX ID, let's name it as my label. Okay. And let's go back to our Java code in our Eclipse ID. In tech, uh, test combo box controller, let's add the label. So fxml public label, which is my label. Okay. And then we just need to import this label class. label okay and then we just need to define a new method public void say for example combo change with the action event as the parameter action event in the object name is event so first we need to import this action event class um, every time the combo box selection change we need to set the item or item name to this my label so my label that set text and of course the combo box element which is going to be my combo box that get my combo box get value okay and also we need to change the on action event in our combo box so click on the combo box and go to your Go to the code option and here in the on action we need to set the uh, method which is the combo box change or combo change that we have defined in our java code so go back to our scene builder click on the combo box and you can also uh, click on this drop down button which is which will suggest our created method or defined method in our java code which is combo change okay all we have to do is save our file so fi file and then save go back to our code or java code and refresh our project to make sure that the changes we have made will be reflected in our um, code so right click the project and run as java application 
so we have here the label and the combo box and of course it should change when the selection number combo box is changed okay so let's try it so let's select the orange so as you can see the display on the label change when we select an element from the combo box so example mango pineapple kiwi mango orange and so on so you get the idea on how to implement the action event in your combo box if you have questions and violent reactions regarding this video please let me know at the comment section of this particular video. Thanks.